Now, the one thing I want to do, and unlike uh, the discussions I've had in prior years, I want to take a minute to actually tell a story about the team that I work with. Um, as most of you know, I've been working with the team ever since I first became involved with FIRST. In uh, late 1995, a couple of students from my neighborhood saw a little piece on 2020 one evening about Dean and the competition. They came next door uh, the very next day and talked to me and talked to my neighbor, Dave Miller, looked at both of us and said, Dave and Dave, you guys work on robots. You work for NASA stuff. We saw this thing about this robotics competition. We want to put a team together. Will you guys help us? We didn't know any better, so we said yes. <laughs> and we, we created uh, what is now Team 116. Um, we didn't have a clue, to be completely honest. Uh, we didn't know what we were signing up for. We had never seen the competition. We hadn't really heard about it other than secondhand information from three students who wanted to create the team. We didn't quite know what we were after. So we sent our lead teacher off to the kickoff all by himself. He came back with this crate of stuff and this manual and this big look in his eyes like he'd basically been caught in headlights. And, and we asked him, well, what do, you, what do we have to do? And he looked at us and said, I don't have a clue. Uh, <laughs> I got this manual, I got this kit, and I don't know what we do. So over the course of the next six weeks, we put together something that sort of vaguely resembled a robot, but only if the lights were really low and you squinted. <laughs> and then we said, okay, well now what do we do it? Because we have to go to this competition. And this is the part where this year, uh, for 2011, there are 2,073 FRC teams this year. 414 of you are rookies. I want to speak to those 414 rookies right now just to prepare yourselves a little bit for what's coming. We looked at the manual. We saw the shipping instructions. That was the first year that FedEx was donating shipping. You had to read the manual very carefully to make sure you interpreted everything properly. We didn't. Um, as we read the instructions, we realized FedEx was shipping everything for us for free, but you had to fit your entire robot if you wanted to get the free shipping inside standard FedEx shipping boxes. We looked at the FedEx little display thing that was down the street from us, and all the free FedEx shipping boxes we saw were about this big, or they were poster tubes like this, and we said, so we have to fit our robot into those? And we said, okay, I guess so. So we spent the entire last week of the build season disassembling our robot. And we designed it for reassembly. Not intentionally, but that's the way it turned out. We get down to Florida. 93 teams were competing that year. We walked in the pit areas. There are 92 crates, one in each pit. And then you walked up into our pit. And we didn't have a crate. We had a little pile of FedEx boxes on the floor. Oh, don't, don't, don't clap. We weren't proud of this. <laughs> and we looked on one side of us, and on one side of the pit next to us, there was a team, and they literally had a robot that was a monument to engineering. It was polished. It was chromed. It had a hand-embroidered custom dust cover on it. <laughs> I'm not making this up. There was a velvet rope in front of their pit. The engineers went past the velvet rope. The students on the team were not allowed past the rope. And they looked over at us, and they saw our, our little pile of FedEx boxes on the floor, and they sort of giggled, and then they walked away. The pit on the other side of us was Team 16, the bomb squad. They looked over at our set of FedEx boxes. They had just finished taking their robot out of their crate. Their crate went away. They had a wonderful working robot sitting there. We had our pile of FedEx boxes on Thursday morning. They looked at us and said, what can we do to help? And they sent four people over that day who spent the entire day with us, sitting in our pits, loaning us tools, putting our robot back together for us. And that was when the light bulb went off. And we said, there's something different going on here. For all the rookies that are out there, the 414 teams that are rookies this year, you're about to experience something entirely different than you've ever done before. You're going to compete. You're going to compete really, really hard. But the thing we want you to pay attention to is not necessarily what happens out on the field. It's what happens along the way to the field. What you do back in the shop to build your robot in the first place, how you build it, the process you go through. When you get to the competition, how you interact with the other teams. That's the important part. 
Because the reality is, as a future employer of some of you guys and all the other companies that are out here, they're going to all think and react the same way. When you go to them after your first experience and after your college experience and you say, I've learned all this wonderful stuff, I'd now like to consider this as my profession, they're not going to ask you, how many little plastic trophies did you win? What they are going to ask you about this is, did you learn to think? Did you learn to innovate? Did you learn to solve problems? Did you learn to lead? What about your experience taught you all of that stuff? And I guarantee you when you respond to that question, the answer is not going to be, well, we won second place at the ham and cheese robotics competition in upstate wherever. It is going to be, I learned this, this, and this because of my interactions with my mentors, with the other students on my team, and with the other teams. Those of you who understand that distinction, you will have employers fighting over you. The ones who don't get it, you're going to be parking cars for the ones that do. Think about it really, really hard. What do you want to get out of this process? It's not about the robot that you build. It's all about how you build the robot.